Hello, and welcome to another demonstrational video for my Quick Move Inventory mod. Uh, this is an updated version of it, of the previous one. So I'll start with the old stuff, and then mention the new stuff that has changed for anybody watching for the first time. Alright, so how this works is I added three buttons here on these, and then two buttons here uh, with the category name. So this is the drop button. Every item that's in the category selected will be dropped from this specific container. This is the store. Every will store all items from my inventory into this container. This is take. It'll take everything from here and put it in my inventory. And then the vice versa from here. This will take items specifically from my inventory though and move them around. Same thing for this button and this will drop them. Um, and then to cycle through categories, you just click this new category button here to cycle through. Or you can hit the key binding, which is holding control and hitting either Z for pre next category or X uh, for previous category. Z and X. And then we go back to all. And then this is the hand category. Um, so that is if you wanted to move a specific, like a... A specific type of item but with it on all let me test these buttons out that moves everything over as long as there's room same thing for vice versa it takes everything back and then if I wanted to do that the same thing it pulls the stuff from somewhere in my inventory and puts it in that slot that kicks everything out of it um, the placement on where it puts items in your inventory is random so it can end up trying to put it back in the same thing like this like this one just did because uh, it's taking them and putting them right back in here and through another item somewhere else in your inventory. Um, so that's more if you're trying to do specific item types because right now it's set to all. Uh, so now if I were to move, let's see, fill that up. Uh, actually, let me do a specific category. Let me do uh, attachments. Move attachments over and then drop them. That drops them at the crate's location, which would actually be underneath the crate right now. So if you can't see the item, just pick up the item that you dropped it from, like this, and all the stuff's underneath it. Um, which you should still see in vicinity, but sometimes the vicinity can get bugged and it won't show because it's inside of an, like, underneath or inside of an item. Uh, and then... Uh, changing to hand category here... I can switch to, let's say, something I have more than one of, like this pair. And then that will only move, I had two pairs on me, that will only move the pair uh, back and forth. And then same thing for dropping, it only drop pairs. So like, grabbing that now, I put the pair back in my inventory, I find the pair and I hit that, and I'll drop the, just a pair from my inventory. It won't touch... Uh, these movements won't touch your item that's in your hands or any item that you have attached. So none of these items up here, no items that are in attachment slots, only items that are in cargo slots will be affected by the move. And then uh, that's about it. No more territory requirements and added some new buttons here for my new features. I condensed the buttons. Uh, and shrank the text size to make uh, room for items that have longer display names so that there's less overlap onto the bu or onto the buttons. Uh, so it looks a little cleaner there. And that's about it. Hope you all enjoy.